we saw a cool hawk in here or something. Some kind of a hawk or an owl or predator. Might have been a velociraptor, we're not really sure. Oh wow, good eye. Hello random bird. Let's all be pals and live in harmony with nature. We are at the Venice Rookery. So if you don't know what a rookery is, I don't either. <laughs> but it's for birds. I, something, yeah, I think it's like a bird nesting area maybe is what it means. That's at least what I can gather. It's pretty cool. We've never been here, so we're gonna take you and show you. There's not a lot to it, but there's a lot to it <laughs> in the details. Yeah. It's, it's not It's not big. No, it's not big, it's pretty small. You can even see back behind us, there's like houses and like roads. So like it's pretty much off the highway. We'll show you. Okay, so this is one angle and you can go all around it. There's like this little island in the middle of this pond thing, which within the pond, we've been seeing something jumping in and out all different spots. Oh, there was one right there. And I don't know if it's turtles or fishes or what. There's a gator in here, supposedly, which I don't doubt. It's Florida. Yeah. Oh, there was another thing that jumped. Anyways, in the middle of that island, you can see all kinds of birds. And supposedly, you can see these cool birds called spoonbills, which maybe we'll steal a picture from Google or one of the many Venice Facebook groups that people post. Like, you can see people over here. They got their expensive cameras. Like, you can hear them, like, taking pictures and going... <laughs> So they're getting like those high speed pictures, trying to catch them in flight, all these different birds. But those spoonbills are crazy cool. I want to see one in person. We haven't yet. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty, pretty cool. But anywho, you can walk around most. Let me zoom out. Oops, something just jumped in the water again. You can walk around most of this and they got these benches, like a breezy afternoon walk. And you'll see some of these bigger birds on the sides too but yeah pretty good variety of birds not a ton right now but i get a, the feeling that you, there's a lot more that you can see and actually over here we'll walk you over there's some little i shouldn't say little tall bird houses oh and the trees over there that cluster of trees we saw like a hawk in there let's start walking so we, we came from this way we'll maybe take you towards that side a little bit and this is not like a trail like it's you can walk on it i think I think you can walk around the pond, but it's not like a trail, like it's yeah. a grass here. Yeah, there was a trail up until a certain point, and then there's not, but it seems like you can walk around. Oh, there's a bird, random bird. Hello, random bird. Go ahead and leave a comment if you know what kind of bird this is. I'll try to get you a good shot so you can see them. Hopefully there's not a gator by the edge here. Oh, there's another one joining the party. Hello, bird. Let's all be pals and live in harmony with nature. Oh, I thought that was a gator. That's just a log. <laughs> oh, and these birds over here are kind of fun. I've seen a ton of these in the white variety. These ones are black. They're always eating stuff out of the grass. They're walking past their halls. Even when we lived in Altamonte, which is the Orlando area, we would see them all the time. But these are like brownish black color. Also don't know what those are called. We're very unknowledgeable on our nature stuff. So you guys are gonna have to leave comments Comment if you do. If, you if, you're, if you're more learned than we are. Funny thing is we both went to college. I thought you're supposed to know everything. Apparently, everything. That's what I was told. Oh, this is a pretty, you can get a good angle of the birds here again. And another bench, if you're into that sitting sort of thing. Hopefully it's not too grainy from zooming in. Oh, wow. Good eye. Was that one of those snake? Maybe that's what we're seeing in the water, those snake birds. We got those in a pond behind our house. They go fishing. I think they're invasive. Yeah. I think that's a snake bird. Got a really skinny neck and head and long, and they'll go underwater like a loon or a duck. Catch fishes. So I think this is where the trail quote unquote ends, and then you just gotta take the road. Actually, there's a little path on the side of the road. Looks like it's meant for pedestrian folk. So if you're wondering where this rookery is, it's uh, in South Venice, and it's pretty much off of 776, which is a highway that connects, or one of a, one of the highways that connects Englewood and North Venice. One of the main roads in the area, outside of 41, of course, which is like the big boy. That's the main, main road. Okay, here's more trail. Oh, and here's another big bird. I think that was the one we were standing by before, maybe. Holy cow, he's got all kinds of stuff in his mouth. <laughs> he's got all kinds of straw and stuff, so they're all, it's funny, we keep seeing them flying towards this island and they're all carrying straw in their mouth. They're building their nests, apparently. Let's see if you can get zoomed in. Yeah, he's got, you probably can't see anymore. 
That guy had a whole bunch of stuff in his mouth though. So. Okay, we're gonna be more quiet here, I think, because everyone over here is trying to be quiet. So we're gonna whisper. Well, people yeah, are being so quiet with like their pictures. People are here just watching the birds and just kind of like relaxing, like just sitting down and looking into the pond and into the little bird area. Just relax. Lounging <laughs> around. Lounging. So they got a little overhang here too, so you can have some shade. And what we got here, there's a whole bunch of people sitting underneath there. Not anymore. Cool enough though. Actually, I want to say I've heard that the mornings are best for seeing the most. Something or picking something up, I can't tell. Yeah, he's looking for straws. He's finding some selections for his nest. He's not being very successful. You need practice, bro. Oh, he's trying to get one of those whole plants, I think. <laughs> See all the cool cameras here. The super zoom lenses and the fast shutter speeds. Good action shots. And this is probably the closest you can get to the island thingy. The, what? the island thingy. That's a word. This is gonna be your best view close of all the birds on the island thingy. There's another bird bringing something for his nest. He's excited about it. He's making some noise. They're feeling it. It might be. There was something else that just went in around the water. I can't seem to get anything on camera real close though. Get some information here. Oh, maybe we can hear. Now we know what we're looking at. The great egret. Plenty of those. Ahinga. Sometimes called the snake bird darter, which those we see a lot of. There's like two that hang on our back pond. Great heron. Definitely been seeing those around our house too. But a lot more of them here. Black crowed night heron. I think I saw that one. And then over here. There's some more birds up in these trees. Well, pretty much all the trees, like those trees. You can hear birds up there. Can't really see them very good. Actually, oh, there's one I can see. There he is. We saw a cool hawk in here or something. Some kind of a hawk or an owl or predator. <laughs> Quite a bit of a velociraptor, we're not really sure. Pterodactyl. Um, he was over here, right? And we'll also show you the cool bird houses. And then here are the little houses. They're not little. Yeah, they're pretty big. Yeah, they're tall. Really tall, kind of big. We hear little birds chirping in them too, but we haven't seen any of them because they won't come out to play. Mom said they had to have dinner first. Yeah. Red, these little redhead guys, we see them by our house too. They look like little hens or something. I can barely see them because they're black. He this guy just, just something. got something. Yeah, he just ate something, so I'll gulp. I'll just gulping some more. Um, but those little redhead guys, we see them swimming sometimes, and I think, I want to say they go underwater sometimes too, and like get pulled to salt fish or whatever out of the water. Looks like they're hunting right now, actually. I like those red guys, they're fun. Kind of cool. Mm -hmm. I think this guy's getting ready to get one, get something. We're like maybe 10 feet from him. He's still close. Mm -hmm. so he must be used to people being around and not doing anything wrong, which is kind of cool. It's like a zoo without the fence. Now we're probably like less than 10 feet. Yeah, from him. like he's coming closer and closer to us. Yeah. The redhead. What's that in the water? Oh, sorry, too. Is that a log? See that? Or is that yeah, I might, see. It might be a turtle. That's a turtle. I just went under. You see it? You get it though? Mm -hmm. Might be a soft shell turtle where they got like the long snout that kind of 
mean, ugly looking ones mm -hmm. or a snapper maybe. This is just one of the many fun activities to do in the Venice area outside of the beach, the stellar downtown, Shamrock Park. Shamrock Park, all the different parks, lots of nature, lots of cool stuff to do outside and indoors. If you want to see more from the channel, comment, let us know what you want to see, like the video, subscribe, subscribe turn on the And if you want to move to the area, guess what? This one right here, she's a realtor. We'll have their information down below in the description if you want to know more about the area or look into Move building, the area. buying, selling, etc. Peace. Bye.